Hey, Shalom, 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 Israel. I want to start off and give all honors and infinite praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekach Radash. Double honors to the apostles and elders and great millstone who have taught us his truth and who rule well. Enough respect and salutations, peace and blessings out there to you sincere and you hopeful elect scattered abroad across the four winds of this earth. I'm your fellow servant Malachi. All right, I want to get into a, a lesson, um, you know, uh, dealing with these uh, <coughs> with these uh, these shortages, okay? Because we can see that, uh, you know, for the supply and demand that the system, all right, is, is, is starting uh, to fail, okay? And these are the beginning um, uh, uh, stages of that coming famine, all right? Not only a famine of food, all right, but it's also going to be a famine of all the different merchandise uh, that that is uh, also imported into uh, the country of what America, which is what Babylon the Great. All right, according to the scriptures. <clears throat> okay, because uh, uh, you know, for instance, for me, you know, I work at an actual warehouse, and we can see that it has been an increase in orders. All right, and you have a lot of these different businesses. Um, these different uh, restaurants, uh, many food chains, they've been ordering uh, a lot of utensils, a lot of uh, uh, different type of foods, all right, so that they can stay afloat, all right, because they already see the shortages already coming, all right? They are putting different orders in because they have a demand for these things, okay? So we can see that the system is starting to become broken, and this is all... Uh, by the will, all right, of the Heavenly Father, and he's using Esau Edom, all right, to do it. All right, I got an article right here, and um, it's going into um, how these different uh, supply chains, different schools and restaurants, all right, they're starting uh, to see uh, these uh, uh, shortages uh, hit, all right, especially here, I believe this article is going into uh, the actual schools, okay, so it says DMPS, Scrambling to put food on students' trays amid supply shortage. Okay, I'm gonna play this quick video right quick. It's a lot. You know, they got to have the damn commercials. <laughs> All right, let's get to it. One public school district is having a tough time answering that question these days due to a number of issues. New at 5, KCPI Scott Carpenter tells us how Iowa's largest school district is struggling to put food on the table. Scott? Well, Stacey and Steve, put it simply, providing lunch for DMPS students is becoming increasingly difficult. They had to address it in a newsletter to parents. Right now, it's kind of like staring into an empty fridge and seeing what meal they can string together. And it's not just food, but trays, utensils, ingredients, really everything is hard for them to get right now. DMPS Nutrition and Food Director Amanda Miller says everything from supply chain issues to truck driver shortages are affecting school lunches. They can't get items like Cheez-Its, Tostitos, just basic snacks. Right now, as hectic as it is to provide the meals, they have been able to put food on the table. Miller says they are constantly making last minute changes to the menu. We are still working as hard and as fast as we possibly can. And we are still going to provide great quality meals for your children. It just might not be what is on the menu. Miller says dietitians are working overtime to make sure students' dietary restrictions are met. As for how difficult it is to get items from manufacturers, they just ordered 1,700 cases of food and supplies. They're only going to receive about 700 cases of what they asked for. Mm. All right. So you can see, all right, shortages. They're here. Let me see if I can go ahead and close that. Because of this. So lock here. Uh, let's X that off. And I needed that article. Um, okay, here it is. All right, so this is the article. All right, and they were talking about the Des Moines uh, Public School. All right, and how they are having and uh, experiencing uh, shortages. All right, it's not only the schools. All right, soon it's getting ready to uh, trickle down to. Uh, different other businesses, the different warehouses, all right, the truck drivers, all right, it's, it's shortages everywhere, and it's also uh, uh, 
uh, uh, stemming down, all right, from these uh, ships, these cargo ships that's over there in the port, all right, over there in California. All right, so it's a short video right here I want to put in, and this is back in March, all right? Here it is. It's now October. So you can see how this is going to affect, all right, when it actually hits. Right now, we're in the, be uh, the beginning stages of it, but we can also see that when these things hit, it's going to be uh, uh, according to Bible prophecy. All right, so let's jump into it. of ships are stuck offshore and they might have your package. CBS's Carter Evans is there. It's a standstill at sea. Dozens of cargo ships waiting for weeks off the coast of California. This is the biggest surge that we've seen of imports to the United States ever. Port of Los Angeles director Gene Soroka says the number of ships arriving here is up 50% during the pandemic. We've been buying more retail goods, home improvement products, and exercise equipment than ever before. Dock workers are now moving nearly a million containers through the port every month, and it's still not enough. This is the worst I've seen in 40 years. Isaac Larian is CEO of MGA Entertainment, maker of the wildly popular LOL Surprise and Rainbow High Dolls. We have 445 containers sitting or on the water. It's not a problem of supply. We have the merchandise, and if we could send consumers swimming to the ocean to go in the containers and get them, we would do that. And the clock is ticking with Easter just weeks away. Where are all your Easter baskets now? It's in the ocean. Charlie Wu's company, Megatoys, moved most of its Easter basket production to China during COVID. Now those baskets are backed up at the port. How much do you stand to lose? Millions. Really? The bottleneck is choking businesses up and down the supply chain. In L.A., longshoremen and women sick with COVID added to the slowdown. Now that they're getting vaccinated and staying on the job, Soroka hopes to move merchandise faster. we got to keep managing and squeezing every hour of work here at the port that we can. Until then, many businesses will simply have to wait for their ship to come in. Carter Evans, CBS News, Los Angeles. Right. So now, this is when we're going to start seeing a lot of other businesses, all right, start to shut down. <coughs> it's going get, to get to the point to where people are not going to work. All right, everything is going to be shut down. All right, so let's get that in. Um, uh, the Perfect Podcast is out there. Damn. And with over 2 million of today's most talked about podcasts. So lucky. All right, let's get that in um, the book of Isaiah 24. All right, it's the book of Isaiah 24, and it's a lot. Isaiah 24, it says the house is shut up. It's a lot. Oh, con. All right, it's the book of Isaiah 24. We can start at verse 8. It says, the mirth of the tabret ceaseth, the noise of them that rejoiceth endeth, the joy of the harp ceaseth. All right, that's going into what? You know, the music industry, that's going into the entertainment. All right, how these people once uh, uh, loved the joy of this life here in uh, America, Babylon the Great. All right, the Lord is, is shutting this place down. He's shutting it down, all right? He's doing it systematically, all right, by using uh, Esau Edom. All right, and Esau Edom thinks he's doing this according to his plans, all right, so that he can usher in his what? His agenda, his NWO. Uh, verse 9, it says, They shall not drink with a song. Strong drink shall be bitter to them that drink it. The city of confusion is broken down. Every house is shut up that no man may come in. All right, so it's getting to the point to where, hey, man, the whole, this this place, this is the city of confusion, Babylon the Great. All right, it's, it's, it's broken down. All right, and we can, we only seen the beginning parts of it. It's going to get much worse. All right, it's gonna get much worse. Um, let's get that in um in the apocrypha because I'm starting to see some of these things happen, okay? And I'm working there, right there in the um in the warehouse. All right, it's the book of Second Ezra six and uh 
Mm. We can get straight to the point. Verse uh, 22, it says, And suddenly shall the sown places appear unsown. The full storehouses shall suddenly be found empty. All right? And why would they be found empty? Suddenly. It's because these people are going to go on a uh, on a splurge, all right, and start panic buying, all right? And then these other different stores and these uh, other different warehouses, all right, they are going to uh, keep ordering and ordering and ordering until it's going to be nothing left within the storehouses, these big warehouses, all right? Because everything is what? It's left out there on the dock. Out there in the ports, all right, from uh, out there in uh, California, all right. So we we already starting to see the Lord work here in Babylon the Great, all right. And we're getting ready to see uh, these storehouses. They're gonna be suddenly be empty, all right. And these people out here are gonna freak out, man, when everything is not coming uh, in, in, into the U.S. All right, it's all stuck out there in the uh, in, out there in, in California, out there in the ports. All right, so let's get back into this, this article, and then, you know, we can just close. That's a short one. All right, it says, Des Moines, I Iowa, providing lunch for Des Moines public school students is becoming increasingly difficult. <coughs> Iowa's largest school district had to address that fact in a newsletter to parents. It's not just food, but trays, utensils, and ingredients are hard for them to get right now. Right, because... Out there, out there in a warehouse where I'm at, okay, you see a, a lot of people, uh, well, a lot of um, uh, businesses, all right, they're ordering trays, utensils, the forks, all right, the lids, cups, all right, they're trying to order everything, and, and today was just a, such of a big rush of, of orders, all right, we were stuck at work for a hey, longer than usual. All right, and it's only going to increase more and more because these people are buying out uh, uh, the things uh, within the warehouse. Okay, hey, that's going back into what we just read, Second Ezra six. Suddenly, shall the storehouses be uh, uh, found empty because there's nothing coming in. So that what the only thing that's left that's holding these things is what's inside the supply chain of these uh, different warehouses. Okay. It says Miller says they they are constantly making last minute changes to the menu, right? Because many of the orders that uh, especially that I got today, all right, and how they said in the video that they may order what seventeen, maybe two thousand different uh, thousand cases, but they may receive what half that, or, or or a certain percentage of it. Okay, it says we are still working as hard and as fast as we possibly can. We're still going to provide great quality meals for your children. It just might not be what's on the menu, Miller said. Miller says dietitians are working overtime to make sure students' dietary restrictions are met. As for how difficult it is to get items from manufacturers, they just ordered 17 uh, cases of food and supplies. They're only going to receive about 700 cases of what they requested. All right, and you see how much of a shortage is because none of the warehouses usually have these things. They will already have it because the trucks would already bring them to the warehouse. You see, you see how the how everything is interconnected together. It's like a whole web. All right, if nothing is coming into uh, the United States, all right, and then the truckers not bringing it to the warehouses and these different manufacturers ordering uh, 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 ordering from the actual warehouse, how are the people going to get their things? All right, we're coming into the time of famine. We're coming to the time of these things being shortage. All right, to where these people are going to panic and keep uh, uh, buying and buying. And there's gonna be a clamp on who can buy what, all right? And it's probably gonna, Esau is probably gonna connect to those who got the jab. All right. If you got the jab, you can get it from uh, you can get uh, from this store. All right, because it's gonna get tighter and tighter and tighter. And this is Esau Edom making that squeeze. All right, you go into Revelations 13. All right, showing you that what it has to come to what the RFID chip. It has to come to that. 
all right because all of this is all going to be revolve around money all right currency all right this this uh this jab is just a way to push it but when we get to that point of that rfid chip it's showing you that hey we hey we are closer than we really believe all right we are right there at the door all right so hey this you know just a news and prophecy showing you that you know the shortages all right they're here the schools all right they are uh you know they're scrambling all right the different businesses they're scrambling because they're ordering stuff and they're not getting all of it all right the people are getting angry the people are gonna uh not go to those businesses anymore all right and those businesses all right are gonna lose customers they're gonna lose money and then eventually they're gonna what they're gonna fall they're gonna break all right they're gonna just uh, 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 be obsolete. Those businesses will be obsolete. All right, it's gonna be to a point to where everyone's gonna have to run to Esau Edom. All right, and this is the what? This is the, the, the will of the Heavenly Father. All right, these things are coming down the pipeline and we right around the corner. All right? So, hey, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying to you, Akim and Akwatim. Wanna give all honors and infinite praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. Bahashim, Rakakwadash, this is your fellow servant Malakaya, Shalom.